Film jammers. What's up, film jammers? Today, we're checking out what has become an essential accessory in my mobile lighting kit. We're gonna turn this painter's pole into a monopod for your lights. And we're gonna shoot some photos with it down at the beach. You ready to paint it whack? So in the past, I've struggled sometimes with how to bring my lights onto location for photography and video and how to move around quickly. The wind or lack of a big crew and sandbags and giant stands has prevented me sometimes from bringing additional lighting out. Then one day I came across another photographer friend who said, you gotta get this painter's pole and this little baby pin adapter that goes on the end. So this makes a simple way you can add lighting on set outside. This 5 8 inch baby pin is just like the end of a C-stand. So you can put on the lights, you can put on strobes, anything that would fit on a C-stand or a regular light stand, you can use it with this. So one of the really cool things about this painter's pole is you can extend it up to nine feet and you can hold it above your head. It's super light and you can get your lights up really high with this. And if it gets too heavy, you can just set it on the ground, right in the dirt, boom, take a little rest. And most importantly, you can move around really quickly. You're not setting a tripod or a stand where you have to set it, put sandbags down. This, you can just hold it and you're running around. Whoa, hey, you need some light over there? Hey, put some light on that guy's ass. Okay, hey, put some light on uh, that little raccoon over there. All right, so let's get out there and... All right, so let's get out and shoot some photos with it and show you how the setup works. Cue the tropical music. All right, so we're out here on the beach getting set up. We're gonna put this soft box in super windy. You can see, whoa, it's blowing away. And we're gonna put it onto the painter's pole with our little adapter and see how it holds up. So what we're using out here is the Profoto B1Xs. They're battery operated strobes, so no cords, no hassle. How familiar are you with the painter's pole? Never used the painter's pole before. More of a gaffer's pole in this situation. Yeah. Yep. Got it. Whoa. Yep. That's wind. All right. That's wind, folks. Two hander. Right. Two hander. All right. So we have our beautiful model Tatiana here, and she is going to be uh, out there on the beach getting some photos snapped on the Canon EOS R. How do you feel it's helping you? It's definitely much better than if I didn't have it. So we're moving all over the beach. We're moving super quick with this lighting setup. It's really nice to be able to just go, hey, let's go over here. I see a cool angle. Or, hey, let's check out this tree. I see a cool angle over here or some trout. I see a cool angle over here. Hey, Lucas, how quick can you get over there? Uh, this quick. That boy is fast. You can't do that with a light stand. You need a Lucas and you need a painter's pole. We are about at sunset. We're gonna get the old uh, painter's pole in the water, see how it holds up. Take a wash, sir. My big chance. So here is the beauty dish. It's flying in. This gives you a little harsher uh, light, a little more uh, defined shadows. It's beautiful. It's also a little smaller, so when it's really windy out, the beauty dish is a good option instead of having a big soft box. Okay, full extension, nine feet. Okay, so the wind is really blowing right now. And we're still good. We got the beauty dish on here. We're shooting. Can't do that with a big old frame. Hell no. We 
had a lot of fun playing with the nine foot painter's pole and some of our strobes. And I think you can do a lot with it with a very minimal crew and uh, you can get a lot of setups really fast. So there's a lot of different options out there for monopods and light stands, but none of them ever really worked that great for me. And I ended up spending hundreds of dollars on these different options that weren't really that great. So this setup is about $50, way cheaper, probably half the price of any monopod even in the same category. So it's really inexpensive. It's a painter's pole. The painters don't charge a lot for the gear. You know who charges a lot? Lighting and film companies, not painters. Painters got the hookup. We've got links below so you can check all that out and buy it if you want. I don't know what I'm saying, help the channel. And it's much more sturdy than the other monopods I have. This thing is like a rock. Yeah, it's like Valyrian steel. This thing is not breaking. Now remember, the secret to this setup is the 5 8 inch baby pin to extension adapter. This adapter is what enables you to attach your lights, and without it, you just got a regular old painter pole. And we've got links below so you can check them out if you want to pick one up. Can you see anything? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.